So in some of my previous videos, we went over multiple outputs in Logic Pro for Moto drums, UGM instruments, triads, drum player, battery, contact, eight, sample tank, and others. Today we'll be taking a look at Synthesizer B and how to create multiple outputs so you can have different vocals on different tracks, process them separately. So let's check it out here. First thing we want to do is open up Synthesizer V Studio in a multiple output. They give us 16, so we're going to go with 16. Temporarily, we're going to get rid of that. We're going to go into Logic. I'm just hitting X to bring the mixer up. And we have this little plus button down here that we're just going to do. We could do all 16, I guess. Um, and then we'll select all these. We can just go and drag over the mouse. Get that one too. And we also want to get the instrument track with Synthesizer V in it. And then we're just gonna come down somewhere around here or anywhere, right click and create track. Now what this does, it creates uh, all those tracks in the arrangement window. So we're gonna select the instrument track as well with that's a Studio V or Synthesizer V. And then we're gonna select all the auxiliaries. And then we we'll create a track stack, Command Shift D, and we want a summing stack, create that. We'll come back into Synthesizer V It'll be right in the instrument uh, pa panel here. We could even label this vocals. This will be like our vocal bus for all the vocals. Open up our Synthesizer V plugin. Let's write some vocals in here. Just do this quickly. Create a voice. Do Hayden. We'll duplicate that track. A different singer. It may make a harmony or something. Okay, so now we have this. La, la, la. Now that's both coming out the same channel. La, la, la. So we could go back in the Synthesizer V, go to Settings, which is right down here, this little Settings icon. Click on that. And then we have a couple options over here. Channel, Layout. We can do Master, um, Track Combined, We'll do that first. That's the one you're probably going to use the most. So now we instantly have la, la, la. La, la, la. La, la, la. la 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 So we have each one on a separate track. Now the other option here, track aspirations isolated. So now we have two voices separated. This is one voice, la, la, la. but la, la, la. we have this on top, la, la, la. which is kind of interesting. Um, I guess you could do different processing and stuff. But let's switch it back to back to the master or the track combined. La, la, la. La, la, la. So now we can go back in the synthesizer V. We could add more tracks. It doesn't matter. Let's add one, another one in here. Another vocalist. Bring her up an octave or so. So now we have three. La, la, la. Go into our mixer. We can throw, throw one plug in at a time here. X, let's say the Xbox Pro or something. So we'll do this one first. We'll just throw some random defaults on here. Classic channel strip. This one we'll throw on. Enhance lead. I mean, I'm just doing this randomly, obviously. This one we'll throw on extra sauce. Bring the volume down. La, la, la. Pan them right, left. La, la, la. La, la, la. So there you go. That way, open it up in multi-out mode, and then you can just split your vocals up, process them separately, and then we still have a vocal bust down here with all the vocals. La, la, la. And of course, you can throw on signs and buses and stuff if you want to as well. And then for a final thing, you can come down here 
and hit save and you can create a patch and then you have a multi-channel vocal thing ready to go. All right, so check out some of my other videos floating around the screen here. If you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on other platforms like X or other places, check the video links in the description below. That is all for now. I will talk to you soon.